Welcome back everyone. My name is Wendy if you are new here and this is what Wendy wears and today I have a full review on a brand that I have not tried before called X plus wear. The first time they reached out I actually told them that I did not want to collaborate uh, not just yet because honestly I was thinking about ordering products just on my own just to find out how their dresses or um, clothing pieces are. But then like a month later, somebody else reached out from their company and they wanted me to try their items and give a full review on YouTube. So I told them, you know what, what the heck, you know what, go ahead and give me some of those pieces and I will do a full review. So they gave me four dresses and they're all pretty fancy dresses. However, once I opened them out of the packet, some of the dresses didn't look exactly like the photo. So when I have them tried on, when I'm trying those dresses on, I'll go ahead and post the photo of what they have on their website versus how it looks on me. And I want you guys to tell me if you guys can spot the difference. Now, um, I'll give you my full review at the very end as far as would I order from this company again. Um, but just know that the way it worked is that they reached out to me, I told them yes, and then they gave me a gift card to purchase these items, and I purchased four dresses. Out of those four dresses, I figured, you know what, I'll give it a try. Hopefully, their products look like the pictures that um, are on their website. And um, lo and behold, we'll find out if they look like them because I haven't actually tried them on. I just took them out of the package, kind of give them a quick steam and see how it looks. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. We're gonna take a look at the first dress. So this is dress number one, and I think we're starting off okay with this dress. I actually do like the fit of this dress, and I love the fact that it has the sequence on there. And uh, one thing, I, I think I ordered a size larger than I normally order, and it fits me a little big at the top here along with the sides. Um, but overall, I like the look of the dress. I like the fact that it goes um, all the way down to the floor. So if I am wearing heels, then it's just going to be kind of drifting over the floor, which is nice. The back of the dress here has pretty much full coverage and I like the beading on the shoulders. I like the detail. Normally I wouldn't wear this type of uh, bra with this dress. I would probably wear like a cross back bra uh, because it is easy to cover. In the back of this dress here, it does have two buttons here where you are able to button it and it also has a zipper on the side. One thing that did happen is that the zipper did get caught on the sequence here so I have a string coming out already. Um, on this dress, but good thing I could hide it with my arms. But overall, I really do like the look of this dress. So between the one to 10, I would say that this is probably about a seven. Things about this dress is that it is very stretchy. Even though it has a, a zipper on the side, I went ahead and put it on right over my head and it fit great. This dress is lined underneath, which I do appreciate because if it wasn't lined, it'd be pretty much see-through. Um, but I like the look. I mean, have you guys ever purchased from X Plus Wear? If you have, let me know what you think about their products. Now this one, between one and 10 is about a seven, seven and a half. It's okay. I like it. Um, it's not great, but I mean, I do like the fact that the dress fits really good and I think that when it comes to a formal dress, uh, this is actually very cute, so I do like it. So this is dress number two, and I absolutely hate this dress. There are so many things wrong with this dress that if I could give it less than a one, I totally would. This would be like a negative 10. It's just made so badly that I just don't like it. First of all, the cups here are like sports bra cups in your boobs. And if you're looking in the mirror, you could actually see the cups. And you, I'm pretty sure you could probably see the outline or the molding of the cups in the video. And then on top of that, these puff sleeves were really the reason why I purchased them. However, the way that they're sewn into the dress is horrible. I just don't like it. They kind of just flip flop back and forth. And I just don't like that look. Um, on top of that, the sleeves here are kind of tight around my arms. They needs to be just a little bit bigger. Um, and then um, the slit in the front. 
it is so high up that if I'm walking, you better be careful because you might be able to see some stuff down there. I'm wearing shorts right now, or at least shapewear, and um, I'm glad I am because if not, you would actually be able to see a little bit too much here. Um, I've seen a lot of strings coming out of this dress. And then another thing is, is that when I took it out of the package and I opened it up, I unzipped it and half of the zipper broke. So in the back, the zipper's broken and it also has a little hole in there that already is, um, is the tool that's coming apart. This dress is an absolutely, uh, absolute mess and this is an absolute no. And I think it ranged from anywhere, like I said, 45 to $60 for this dress and um, don't waste your money. So this is dress number three and I don't know. I really thought that this dress was gonna look a little bit better. Um, I don't like how high it is up here, but I understand why it's there so you don't have to wear a bra with this dress. Um, it has straps, as you can see, and it crisscrosses in the back, uh, which is nice. I mean, it's a lot nice look to it. However, um, they are adjustable, but these adjustable straps have like these very cheap plastic clips that look like they feel like they're gonna break. So honestly, um, this dress is the the straps. I I just I just can't. Um, you do you would I would recommend that you actually tape your your boobs in uh, with this dress. Um, and I don't have any boob tape on right now. I just went ahead and put this dress on. Um, but I don't know. It's it is a heavy dress. I like the print of this dress, but I just don't like the way it's made. Honestly. Um, I think this one is better quality than the previous dress that I tried on. So if I have to give it between a one and a 10, I'd probably give it about a three. Um, but overall, um, it's not my style. It does have a zipper in the back, so you could go ahead and step into the dress. This dress does not have any stretch. So make sure that you buy the appropriate size around your waist in order for this dress to fit. So this is the last dress that I got from X plus wear and it has potential, but I just don't like it. Um, couple things with this dress. The opening here is just way too big. Uh, maybe if my thighs were a little smaller, then maybe it wouldn't open as much here, but I think it's supposed to open like this because I saw it on the photo, which I'll go ahead and post here. So that way you could see what it looks like. Um, and I like the fact that it has ruching on the side here. However, um, I wish that this dress was lined. This dress is not lined and it's very thin uh, polyester sateen look on this dress. And on top of that here, it's just not made right. It has cups already made uh, built in here. Um, and these cups again are similar to uh, your workout wear tops or sports bras that they just stick in there and then it kind of turns here i was trying to fix it um and it just wouldn't i couldn't fix it so this part here on the dress wouldn't flip over so it's just all the sateen color it just doesn't fit right it has a train as you can see the back is uh pretty nice the fact that it's you know it goes up really high, so if you have shapewear on, it fits. I like the fact that it has a train, but overall, I again, I wish it was lined. I wish that this top here would be a little better. I hate the fact that it has cups, and um, I love the color. The color's nice. Um, if you had to give this between a one and a 10, I would say a four, honestly. Um, and it's just not my style either because um, a train, I'd probably trip over it by the end of the night. And I just don't like the fact that it is so widely open here at the bottom. So unfortunately, this is a no for me. Um, I think out of all the dresses, the black one's the best. So final thoughts about X plus wear. Um, honestly, between the four dresses that I was given, only one of the dresses was a hit for me. All of the other ones were a miss. So about 25% of the dresses weren't that great. So would I buy from X plus wear again? And the answer is no, honestly. 
for the price that I'm paying anywhere between 40 to 45 to 60 dollars for these dresses honestly I think that you could probably find better quality somewhere else so this is not a brand that I would recommend um, but let me know what you think about the brand because some of you may have already purchased from X plus wear and maybe that you had some great hits on there so let me know in the comments um, or if you tried them and it was also a miss let me know in the comments as well so all of the items that you saw here today are going to be linked in the description below. That way, if you are interested, you could always order those items right through their website. Um, also, um, if you want to see how I style some of the clothes that you see in some of my other videos, go ahead and head to my Instagram page at what Wendy wears there. You will be able to get, um, fashion ideas in for items that you have in your own closet. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and stay stylish, my friends.